Hello everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host Stan Rutan and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. I think my light is a little messed. There we go. Got it. We are going to talk about South African wines. Uh, South Africa is one of the coolest places I've ever been. They make some fantastic wines and I don't think a lot of people are aware of that. I mean there's probably a lot of you out there. In fact Maybe you can make a comment, how familiar are you, or do you have a favorite South African wine? They started off pretty much with Pinotage, which some wine people think they shouldn't make, it's, which is a cross between Pinot Noir and Cinso. But we are not going to do a Pinotage today. We are going to do three wines, two quite serious wines, and then one that's a little more in the value category. This show is trying to help you spend your wine dollars wisely, not necessarily always presenting cheap wines or inexpensive wines, but if you have a more expensive wine, is it worth the money? So we're going to start off right away with uh, Hamilton Russell Vineyards Pinot Noir. This is a 2000 and... where are you at? Date? Ah, 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 ah. 2017. Hamilton Russell Pinot Noir. And this is from the... Uh, uh, the um, Hemel and Ard Valley. It's a region in South Africa which is actually 80 miles southeast of Cape Town. It's near the water. It's near Walker Bay. It's in a big valley. I think it's, did it say about 30 to 80 miles wide? Anyway, they get a lot of cool climate there from the uh, ocean. Um, and they, so it's a great climate for growing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So that's what we have here is a Pinot Noir from Hamilton Russell Vineyards in the Hemel and Ard Valley of South Africa. This is $50. Now $50. Woo! That's spendy. You know, but if you think about it, Burgundy uh, can go for way more than uh, $50 and people don't have a problem spending $50 on a Pinot Noir from the uh, Willamette Valley in Oregon. So, let's get started. What do we get on the nose here? 50 bucks. Is it worth it? So, pretty... This has a little darker than some Pinots I've seen. You can probably see that. I can smell it right away, which is always encouraging. I get black tea, which I love in a Pinot Noir. I love it when a Pinot Noir has black tea. You get a little bit of strawberries and cherries. A little bark action as well. Good aromatics on this wine. I like that. This is a 13.5 alcohol. So, you know, that's still not too bad. Like I said, there's the clouds come in from the, uh, the ocean and keep it cool. And, you know, winemakers love that, especially when it comes to Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Let's see what we get on the palate. Pretty rich, really. I mean, nice and elegant, but it has good depth to it. I get really uh, pretty solid cherry notes with just a tiny hit of strawberry. Uh, soft tannins, a little white pepper on the finish, which I think is very cool. Light tannins, but good texture in the mouth. A little Asian spice action, a little black tea, very solid Pinot Noir. Now, this is 2017, I think I've had a 16 in the past, maybe even a 15. Hard to sell a $50 Pinot Noir from South Africa. This is ready to drink now, but seriously, has good acidity, good balance of fruit, acid, which makes it a really um, good candidate for cellaring. So, if you want to see what it's like, to put a $50 Pinot Noir down, and I would give it 8 to 10 years, I think you're going to be rewarded immensely. This is a solid Pinot Noir. Is it worth 50 bucks? I would say yes, it is. If you want a little treat, South African treat, I would go with this Hamilton Russell Vineyards Pinot Noir. I love that black tea on the finish. It just kind of lingers. I'm going to go... A minus A on this, and I think it's a solid wine. Nice uh, earthiness on the backside, a little bit of bark coming through at the finish. Has a really long finish. I like it a lot. 
Got to have one more sip before I dump it out. Good balance. So put it in perspective, um, you know, some people buy a uh, Druin, uh, Domain Druin, a Pinot Noir from uh, from uh, Oregon. They'll pay close to 50 bucks. Um, I think for $50 it's a good play. I know that's a lot of money for a lot of you, but if you want to treat yourself, you want to see what Pinot Noir like, can be like from South Africa, especially from the Hemelan Arg Valley, I think you'll be rewarded. I think you'll love it. I really do. A minus A. Let's move on. Now we're going into the value category. This is the 2018 The Wolf Trap, Syrah, Mouvedra, Viognier. And I think it only has 1% Viognier, uh, 30, I think 14% Mouvedra, and 85, yeah, 85% Syrah. Give it a little rinse. I've had this stacked in the store before. It's $11, so that's a really good value. Um, it is by the... Uh, uh, the, the, um, where did I read this? Okay, bear with me, Rel, for a minute. This is from the Boken Houtskloof, Houtskloof, Boken Houtskloof Winery in Franschhoek. And, uh, Susie and I went to Franschhoek. We really liked it there. Really cool little town. Reminds me of a little Napa. You know, a lot of wine tours going around there. There's a lot of wineries in the Franschhoek area. And that is west or east of uh, the Cape. Let's see what we get on the numbers. So, give me a picture. Here's the, here's the label. There you go. Here's the color. A lot darker. You would expect that with Syrah Mouved. Let's see what we get on the nose. This has like a lot of blackberry, licorice. Bramble berries going on on the nose. Get a little bark action and tobacco on it as well. Pretty good aromatics for an $11 bottle of wine. Let's see what we get on the palate. Very smooth and delicious. You can really feel that Syrah in your mouth. Uh, the tannins are, are firm but soft. They're there, you know it, but they, they're, they're, they're very forgiving. A lot of boysenberry, get a little bit of plum, uh, tobacco on the back side, good balance. A little cherry on the mid palate, good expansion on the mid palate, goes in the finish where the tobacco and earth notes kind of come out a little bit. I like this wine, 11 bucks, guys. That's a good value. And uh, I've stacked this before, like I said, at the store, and it got well-received. I have a fairly decent South African wine section, but it kind of disappears on the shelf. Don't forget to look for South African wines, especially this little gem, for 11 bucks. I think that's a good play. I'm going to go BB Plus on that for $11. I'm going to stick to B Plus, straight up B Plus. Great value. Great wine. Great food wine. That would be great with hamburgers, pizza, uh, lasagna, anything. That, that The Syrah really has a deepness on the finish, and you can feel it. I love it. Great bottle of wine. 11 bucks, B+. Let's move on. I'm really curious. I've never had this. This is a 2017 The Chocolate Block, and this is also from the Boken, Boken Houtskloof Winery in uh, Franschhoek. These, are, these grapes are sourced from Swartland, though, which is interesting. We want to go to Swartland one of these days. That's more north of, that's north of Cape Town. Quite a flight to, the, to uh, South Africa, so, you know. Take a little, this is uh, the Chocolate Block, $33. This is a uh, 14.5 alcohol. I think the, uh, the Wolf Trap was 14. A little drip down the label, but there you go. Really clean looking label. I'm excited to try this. 33 bucks again, not chump change. But let's see what we get on the nose. Good color, by the way. This is dark, as dark as a wolf trap, a little darker even. Oh, and this is a. Uh, this is, um, let's see. 
Okay, Syrah, 64%, Grenache, 14%, Cinso, 11%, Cab, 10%, and Viognier, 1%. So they like to throw that little 1% of Viognier, and that's probably to pop the aromatics. Viognier is a very aromatic white wine, and yes, they do put white into red, and it gives it that, it pops the aromatics. And somebody told me that they didn't think 1% did much, but I tend to disagree with that. I think 1% Viognier can really add that dimension to a red wine. This has currants and blackberries, is what I'm getting. Almost get like a wilted rose petal. There's something kind of bright on the back end of this. I'm not quite understanding. Maybe, oh, I get it. Red raspberry coming through. A little bit of bark action on this one as well. You can, you can really get the earthiness on the nose. Let's see what we get on the palate. Wow, this is deep, rich, but restrained at the same time. It's not over the top fruit, but boy, does it have a, a nice layering. You get chocolate with the uh, current notes. You get a little bit of, um, yeah, there's some blackberry and plum in there as well. I'm not getting the raspberry as much on the palate. It's smooth and silky. The tannins sort of get a little slight grit on the back end. Um, yeah, I mean, we're talking. You spend 33 bucks on this and you drink this, you're gonna go, wow, this is a really good wine for 33 bucks. Now think about it. We go and buy a cab from Napa, more than 33 bucks. Cabin from Washington State for 33 bucks. This would blow them out of the water. I am very happy with this wine. They call it chocolate bot. There's a little bit of chocolate, but that's a great name for the wine. A very, very smooth, but intensely layered, nice wine. This is coming into the store. Seriously, guys, it's coming in. The earth notes on the mid palate, a little bit of earth and tobacco and, and bark into the finish. Finish is long. And there's that nice little kind of earthy current. A lot going on on the finish. I like it. I'm going to go A, A, straight up A on this one. And for 33 bucks, it is a solid, solid wine. Thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your day. Good batch of wines from South Africa. Don't forget to look for South African wines when you're doing your wine shopping. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, just take a little time, hit the subscribe button get more and more subscribers. And I do have a goal for the end of the year and I hope I can reach it. How, again, one question. Do you have a favorite South African wine? Share it in the comments. You keep watching and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollar wisely.